Basin Coal Bleacher Report. Your thoughts on Bob Kraft basically saying that he'll accept the debate gate punishment? Why is the flake gate? Excuse me, I've got debates on my mind. Maybe because I'm talking <laughs> with him. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, wise decision on his part. I thought put this thing to bed. It's been four months now. Uh, it's been long enough, and it's been enough of a distraction for the league. I think also he ultimately realized that if you're going to go rogue and you're going to go sort of the Al Davis path, it's a very lonely, treacherous, um, and not very productive path as an owner. It doesn't get you ultimately where you want to go. And standing up in a lawsuit against the rest of the league is really hard to do. Do you think the punishment was fair? No, I think it was too much. Um, I think that two games for Brady would have been fine. I think $500,000 on the money, and the money's irrelevant, so let's not even talk about the money. But probably a third round draft pick for the team would have been enough. I mean, we're still talking about you know, on-field suspension for behavior that you can't completely prove, but it's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. And Did I you like read all 256, 63 pages of the report? Or? Yeah, I've yeah, read yeah. 200, 243. <laughs> yeah, 243, yeah. And then I read the 20,000 words that the, the Patriots put out there yeah. in reply and all the other things. And it's tiresome and boring. And there are some good points made on both sides. There are some absurd ma points made on both sides. Ultimately, when I read the text messages, mm -hmm. I come to the conclusion that these guys were screwing around with the footballs. There's no question about it. And the only way that that happens in this league is if the quarterback says so. I think it's akin to corking a bat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or throwing a spitter. Yeah, it's a violation. It's That's a good analogy. Yeah. That's a great analogy, actually. Yeah. And yeah. so I think it was worth a game for, for breaking the rules, and it's worth another game for lying about it. What got me about the, re the commissioner's statement and the punishment is conduct detrimental to the NFL. Under the, that, very under, that was, that to me was a tarnish. I don't know how you read that, but when I read that with respect to Tom Brady's name, I thought, oh man, that's her, that's horrible. You know. In 20 years, we're never going to bring that up. We'll never talk about it. You know, even when you talk about Alex Karras and Paul Horning these days, right. it's a passing thought that they were implicated in a, in a gambling. That's scam. true. Okay, so I complete. You know, he's yeah. right, folks. I completely forgot about that. Right. So. When you he's talk about the right. greats of the game, it's a, it's a, it's a pimple. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a pimple in the grand scheme of things. And one thing you got to remember is if you really think that this mattered, mm -hmm. okay, that this was part of his greatness, are you really telling me that Tom Brady was great for 15 years and won four Super Bowls and went to six because the balls were slightly underinflated? It is a hard one to stomach. Right. I mean, you're right. And, and it's again, it's a worth little, it's uh, worth a ga it's right. worth a game of a penalty you're and right. probably another game suspension for this. But look, I mean, let's let's look in the grand scheme of sports. Sammy Sosa corked a bat. Okay, he got eight games. It's not much different. A little bit different. Is there a conspiracy? Is there a cover up? Is it? Yeah, sure. Okay, but at the end of the day, it's not that much of a difference. How do you think the commissioner comes out looking at all this? Well, I think that most people are in agreement with the commissioner that mm -hmm. cheating has to be taken seriously and you got to punish people. And, you know, people are so against the Patriots that that feeds their sense of justice, wanting... Justice. Yeah, uh, justice. Yeah. Let's go after those guys. Making up for the tough rule, that sort of thing. Right. In Oakland, that would be the justification, certainly. In all the other parts in Philadelphia, that would be the justica justification. In Pittsburgh, yeah, uh, they're all on Goodell's side on this. Where he's not popular is, of course, in New England. He won't be attending the opener. <laughs> hey, i got to ask you before we close. <laughs> that's a, James, that's a joke. Fact? James, I got the joke. I was like, you know. But... Just, for, else, for all of you out there, it's, just... it's a joke. <laughs> Camera's here, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's a joke. So, Jameis Winston filed a countersuit. What do you think? Um, no. Questionable. Does it cause and you not, to think differently because, about, you know? Not, not because, you know, look, if he feels that he was wrong, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I'll, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. But proving that he was defamed somehow or liable or whatever the claim is, 
is really hard to justify when you're the guy who stole crab legs from a Publix. Scrap, scrambled But he said he got hooked up. He said he got a hookup. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay. It was, yeah, yeah, on the those space, act, you're those, absolutely right. It those was, actions it was the same. Right, 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 and right, here's right. the other thing about that I question about this lawsuit. Mm -hmm. When you file a civil action, you open yourself up for investigation. Now, so here's the point. Her lawsuit over, you know, what she's claimed mm -hmm. is restricted. That investigation is restricted to only that incident. His lawsuit opens him up for a full investigation of his entire background. That's true. Yeah, and that's so, true. Be, wait, careful wait, wait, what, come, be careful what you wish for. They can't go back and investigate her history, like with drinking and everything else. Well, they can. Right? They can. Again, yeah. they can. They can investigate as part of that incident. Right. As for the defamation, he's claiming that she defamed him. Yeah. Okay. He, he's not. There's no claim that she was defamed. Her character is not under, under scrutiny. Now it'll be. It will be scrutiny. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because. But, it, right, but, right, right, but right. he's claiming that his character was damaged by her, and therefore she's going to sit there and go, "Well, let's take a good look at your character, yeah. and let's talk about Publix and stealing the crowd legs. Let's talk about." screaming obscenities hey maybe we should talk about the supposed other woman mm -hmm. who's never filed a claim maybe we can go find her but what about do you really want to go do you want to go down that do you, do you, right. i'm not saying it's all going to happen oh, right, right, but right, do you right, want right. to go down that path but my viewers some of you commenters out there have asked about this what about her boyfriend who says that he's going to come along he's been waiting for somebody to talk with him jamal uh, i forgot jamal's last name okay you know he says he's ready to talk Arguably against her. Arguably, sure. Yeah. Well, maybe, that? maybe, she, yeah. and maybe that would be part of undermining her case. Yeah. In, fine. in her suit against him. How do you think he comes out of this? Oh, I think he's gonna win. I think he's gonna win the suit against that she's filed against him, and I think he will drop the other suit eventually. I think that that that, that suit's probably not his. His filing against her is not as wise as he thinks. So we talked a lot about this, he and I. Uh, Raiders stay in L.A. or stay in Oakland or move to L.A.? I'm betting they move to L.A. I think they're the least likely of the three to go. Um, it's good news. <laughs> but at least to Los Angeles. That doesn't mean they're not in play. Look, here, here at the end of the day, this is I always say that because we as a city, and I'm pointing at myself included, don't have our act together. Okay. Well, neither does San Diego. Like, you know, they're, they, they're better ahead than we are. No, they're not. I looked at the, the funding. Yeah, but we don't have a funding plan. Okay, I'm just telling you that you're... Except for what I made. You're, they're no better than you guys are. Okay. St. Louis is further along. Has yeah, a plan, that's has a design, right. has a funding plan, and I think is more all in. San Diego is not in. Here's my di the difference between the three cities to me. Mm -hmm. San Diego doesn't need a football team to have an identity. Okay. But we St. Do. Louis and Oakland do. Right. Yeah. That's part of the identity. Sports is a huge part of the identity for St. Louis. And the Raiders are a huge part of the identity for the for Oakland as Absolutely. a community. So Absolutely. I think that that provides an incentive for, um, for those cities to finally make something happen. He's Jason Cole of Bleacher Report. If you don't catch him, <laughs> you're a fool. Thanks, man. No problem. Yeah. Thank you.